Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm the teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we are talking about how to achieve math fluency for everyone in your classroom to help your students increase their math skills and competency with math facts. Where do you start? The goal of math fluency is to teach your students how to quickly recall math facts. So let's say that again. The goal of math fluency is to teach your students how to quickly recall math facts. Goals are good to know because that's where you're going. That's where you're headed. The end goal for math fluency is to have your students be able to recall math facts quickly. When your students know how to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division facts through conceptual learning, they will succeed. So what math skills do you want your students to master? Math fluency is a way of teaching math skills to your students in a meaningful way with fact strategies and memorization. Teaching math fluency doesn't have to be stressful or overwhelming. So let's look at the following steps for math fluency in your classroom now. Math fluency is the ability to recall math facts. We usually hear it called math fact fluency. Students are able to quickly recall addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division facts. Math fluency extends through middle school. Students need to be able to quickly recall those math facts through conceptual learning, fact strategies, and memorization. The four key components to determine mastery of math fluency are flexibility, strategy use, efficiency, and accuracy. Now, it's not a quick fix, but rather it helps students achieve automaticity of their math facts. A common benchmark is asking students to recall 30 facts in one minute. Why? because it's essential for students to master this skill for future math problems. The benefit to math fluency is great. So one of the main benefits to math fluency is less time wasted on solving problems and more confidence to overcome math problems when students are asked to fluently solve them. It's important to note that the purpose of math fluency does not happen at the same time for every kid, but Rather, students will naturally progress at their own rate of math fluency. Math fluency has four components. Let's look at component one, flexibility. Having flexibility teaching math facts happens when students are learning their math facts and tying them to previous facts that they've learned. Here's an example of students recognizing two plus two so that two groups of two equal four. So they're flexible with their math facts and knowing that is an important piece of math fluency. Part two of math fluency is strategy use. So it's student-centered approach where the student learns to choose the strategy and it must be an appropriate strategy for math fact fluency. An example of this would be double strategy for addition. So doubling would be two plus two equals four, therefore four plus four equals eight, and six plus six equals 12, and so on. Part three of math fluency is efficiency. Specifically, when we are talking about math fluency of math facts, it is done quickly, rather in two seconds or less to recall one math fact. As this continues to extend into middle school, math facts for grades six and beyond will also need to be recalled quickly. Part four of math fluency is accuracy. It's the last part and probably the most important one, practicing and memorizing to know that a math fact is correct and accurate only. You can see when all the math fluency parts are together, how it completes the student's ability to master math fluency. Math fluency in math is the ability to flexibly apply strategies in an efficient and accurate way so that all four components are being used. Why is it important? Math fluency is important because Number one, it contributes to students' ability to solve more difficult problems quickly and more accurately. Number two, it builds students' confidence in their math ability to solve difficult problems. And number three, it leads to success in students' future mathematics courses. When going through the process of math fluency for the first time, you may have some questions about how will it run more smoothly. So here are some tips that have helped. Number one, conceptual learning. First, teach your students the meaning of the operation so that students will truly understand them. Give them the opportunity to use lots of manipulatives and models. 
Number two, fact strategies. Explicitly teach strategies to students. Give lots of examples and opportunities to practice and apply these strategies. Make sure to emphasize the relationships and connections between the operations. Use and give your students the opportunity to use lots of manipulatives and models. Then require your students to explain and use strategies to justify their responses. Remember, number three, memorization of basic math facts. This can be done in varied ways, but give your students daily opportunities to practice. Your students should be able to recall a fact within two seconds, practice facts in class using games, make sure it's fun and differentiate when possible. There is a solution to the problem of teaching for fluency. Try teaching with the four part approach. You can plan for math fluency for your students. Grab the math fluency notes for this series today. It's a five part video series on how to achieve math fluency. Each video will give you tips, strategies, and resources to develop a math fluency plan to meet the needs of all your students. Learn how to help your students achieve math fluency in four easy steps. Included are the on-demand notes, math fluency checklist, worksheets, and much more. Get clear on how to help your students achieve math fluency today. For more information about the math fluency video series, be sure to check out the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video if you haven't yet and subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified of new videos. Thank you for supporting Teaching Math and More, and I'll see you next time for video one of the Math Fluency series.